So on the weekends we would go for Saturday and Friday and we just play around all the time. I get snacks. I do like to eat. So I get snacks and bottled water, it's great. But at the time I was an atheist. And what I've seen, you know, I started to believe because you know, I saw like they, they preached the word and they were always they always lived it out. Like they weren't fake either. If I saw them in public, they acted the same because I guess they truly believed. People always said, you know, you're a good kid, you're smart. Keep it up, you'll do it, you'll go far in life, you're, you can get a free ride to college. But by FC, they never said you're perfect. They have rules they have to follow. I'm not always happy to follow the rules. And like when I get corrected, I get angry. But they used to be racist and like you know, I try to you know say racist jokes or something. But they you know they wouldn't laugh, they never encouraged the behavior. So you know, through them working, and I believe God worked in my heart because I mean I don't feel that way. I don't feel like I'm not racist anymore. Well, because of YFC, I believe in the Lord, and I have a church that I go to regularly. They're real; you know, they act the same no matter where I see them. They're like, this is what the Bible says about it. how do you feel. They're not like they're not convicting you; they're just telling you what the Bible says about it. sin in your life. They're, they're not afraid to spend money on somebody if they're investing time in it. They're, um, and they always are intentional in, in making a relationship with somebody. I feel kind of sad because at first it was kind of small. And like I felt like I had you know, a close relationship with the staff. Like you could spend more time with them. Now you know, a bunch of people come here and I feel kind of jealous. Because I don't come like, I rarely come for the students. You know, I usually come to talk to the staff. I don't know. If it wasn't for YFC, I know I wouldn't be a believer. I'd probably still be racist. And wouldn't be here doing this right now. <laughs>